Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Tatsuno City in Hyogo Prefecture and we are at the Tatsuno Nishi service area and this is the Kudari side or the westbound side going away from Tokyo and today we're going to be walking around this service area and checking it out um, just a quick look around on the outside before we uh, start walking around but you can see the uh, autumn leaves have started to uh, change colors and uh, this is early November it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and uh, you can just kind of see uh, it's a pretty big area very large uh, parking lot and uh, yeah looks really nice so let's get started and uh, actually we're gonna go over here to the right hand side and uh, we're gonna see a few things over here on the right hand side and then we're gonna go inside and check out the uh, service area and finish on the left hand side so uh, anyway I don't think we'll be able to see this once we go inside but they do have a food stand out here they have lots of uh, picnic tables and actually uh, we had that right there we had some uh, koroke for lunch and then also the uh, the oysters are really famous here in this area and so here it is about five dollars five hundred yen for for some oysters here's the uh, the bathroom and you can see it's uh, kind of a traditional building it is modern but uh, looks pretty nice nice little flower garden here and then it uh, looks like some more toilets over here and then right back here is a uh, it's called a welcome gate and so of course uh, these service areas are on a uh, on a toll road so the only way to come into the service areas is actually to pay to get up on the highway and then you can have access uh, to the service area however some of these uh, service areas have a welcome gate just like this right here and so maybe these are local people or people who don't want to pay to get up on the expressway they can just come here and park and then they can have access to the service area so a few service areas do have this kind of um, this feature and yeah and it looks like there's a little walkway there you can see the the leaves changing colors really beautiful looks like a little walking path maybe some benches and things back there so okay Okay. okay. All right. So the red dragonflies are really famous here because the author is from this, the author of the song. Yeah. He wrote a children's song about red dragonflies. He's from here. And so, uh, yeah. When we entered Tatsuno, uh, it said welcome to Tatsuno and there, there was a uh, picture of some dragonflies. So there it is, the, uh, that sign back there gave some information about the red dragonflies. So let's go inside. Looks like a really good bakery here. There's a pumpkin bread. 
Look at that. Premium melon bread. That looks really good. But it's just open for anybody to touch. <laughs> and here's the food court. And you can see it's really busy here. Uh, it's, what, around one o'clock? But uh, they had the partitions up separating uh, customers for coronavirus. And yeah, just that, like all the uh, service areas, you can order, you put in your money, and then they call your number when it's ready. Here's the menu. Right there is the uh, local specialty with the oysters. And of course, lots of souvenirs and local products. Mm, yeah, so this is the really far western area of the Kansai area. In fact, we're really close to uh, Okayama Prefecture which is in the Chugoku area. So maybe here we can start to see the, the products blending a little bit between Kansai and uh, Chugoku. Ah, uh, yeah. A takoyaki from Akashi. Yeah, here, this one, Akashi. And there's a restaurant here. You can see their food. Yeah, of course, the uh, Kobe is not very far from here. So, uh, the Kobe Coast Highway, I guess, is the translation of that. So. This is on the Sanyo Expressway, right? So, yeah, from Kobe, you can just go on the Sanyo Expressway, headed west, and you'll come to Tatsuno. Osaka. Maple cream pancakes. This, I guess, the Osaka area here. Shiomi Daifuku. I see, okay. Right, yeah, so the salt is really famous in uh, Akko, which is really close to here, and then they use it to make uh, these sweets, the Akahuku. Yeah, maybe the combination of uh, sweet and salty. Maybe we can't go out. So actually, uh, this is where we sat and uh, had lunch. We bought a, a bento, some koroke, and oysters, and uh, sat outside. There it is, Tatsuno Ishii. Welcome to Tatsuno with the red uh, dragonflies there.
And then over here, it looks like they have a little park. Of course, these uh, autumn leaves are really beautiful right now. Yeah, there's a little monument for the uh, red dragonflies. So plenty of uh, benches and seats outside if you want to uh, sit outside and enjoy nature or get some fresh air. Yeah, the ginkgo tree is here. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's the uh, Tatsuno service area. Just one more time, look at uh, the parking lot is really big. And actually when we got here about an hour ago, it was really, really crowded. It's, people are starting to leave now but uh, this is probably the lunch the rush hour at lunch time so okay. all right so I think that's it for mm -hmm. today that was the uh, Tatsuno service area on the Kudari side mm -hmm. on the westbound side going away from Tokyo Do you have anything to say mm -hmm. Alright, so there it is, the Tatsuno service area. It's very big and uh, you got a lot of choices for food. Lots of places to sit outside as well. So anyway, that's a little tour of the Tatsuno service area. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Click like down below if you liked it. Leave a comment. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We're visiting a lot of service areas. I think we've almost completed all of the service areas in the Kansai area. So uh, anyway, check those videos out if you want to see more service areas. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.